guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my September favourites and I don't really have much to say so let's just jump right into it. So the first product I'm going to be talking about is this one from Garnier. It's the Micellar, I'm not sure, Micellar Cleansing Water and basically removes makeup, cleanses and soothes and you don't need to rinse afterwards. Um, this is really good. I've been using this for about three weeks now and I've only got to there. Um, it's really good at removing makeup without leaving like that oily, greasy feeling which I really like. The next product I've been loving is this little set from Body Shop and basically comes with a tea tree mask, a tea tree, tea tree, a toner, a face wash and a moisturiser. And I've been loving all of these together and I think it's been really helping clear out my skin and yeah, I just think they work really well for my skin type. I've also been loving the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. Um, I just like this to set down my makeup. I'm not too fussed about the matte or the dewy finish. I think this leaves a more natural finish, not like a glow, but I like how it makes my face not look as cakey and powdery. This one is a newer product that I've seen in Priceline in Australia and thought I'd pick it up. I didn't think much of it. Um, I got the shade 32 Golden and I got this for when I'm fake to end, obviously right now. I'm not fake tan, I'm really really pale right now. Um, this is the Maybelline New Superstay Better Skin and it basically says better looking skin in three weeks. Now I don't know about the better looking skin in three weeks but I like the foundation, it's not matte, it's not dewy, it's kind of in the middle, I think it gives really really good coverage and yeah it blends easily, I just really like it. I've also been loving the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I got the shade light to vanilla and I didn't think I would like this I thought oh it's just one of those products that's hyped up but it's not really like worth the money but I thought since I paid like 35 or 40 dollars for this little concealer I was going to have to try it until I liked it and I don't like it as much over foundation but I really like it without any foundation so if I'm going for a day where I don't want to pile foundation on my face I just put this on and it covers what I need to cover and I can walk out the door. Another thing from NARS is the NARS Laguna Bronzer and just looks like that. I don't know if you can see the shade, but it's just basically a dark bronzer with a little bit of gold shimmer in it, but you can't really see the shimmer. Um, when you put it on your face, it just looks pretty much matte. Um, I just like this to bronze up my face, and also I've been using this to contour as well. I just grab a more dense brush and just contour about here, and it's been doing the job. So the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. This is a highlighter and it just looks like this and there's a dint in it because I accidentally dunked my nail into it when I was doing my makeup once. Um, yeah, so this is just a golden um, highlight. It's really, really pretty and really shimmery. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, yeah, it's just really pretty and I really like it for just on the tops of my cheekbones. I just use a e.l.f. small stipple brush just to work the product into my skin. So I like this. Something else I've been liking is the e.l.f. eyelid primer. You can't really see that it says e.l.f. on it because it's been rubbed off. But I don't like the packaging, I think it's pretty crappy to be honest, but this was like $3 I think, or $5, and it's just basically a transparent primer, you just put it on your lids and you rub it in and it's gone, and basically just primes your lids. Um, while using this I haven't noticed my shadows to be fading as much and to be creasing as much, and I think they just go on really nicely. And the primer hasn't been stinging my eyes, so I like that. Another thing I've been liking is the Chi Chi Eyebrow Pencil. It's actually called the Chi Chi High Definition Eyebrow Pencil and it comes with a little brush on the end, which I'm not too big a fan of. I like more of the spoolie brushes, not like the comb brushes. Um, and then it comes with the pencil on the other end. And this pencil is like the perfect colour for my eyebrows. It's in, it's in light brown and this has shea butter and vitamin E. And I think it's really nice to go on. It's not like chalky and it doesn't tug at my eyebrows. But it just goes smoothly and looks natural and I really like this. Another eyebrow product is from Australis and it's called Tint My Brow Brow Tint. And this is in the colour light brown as well. This is a lot darker than the Chi Chi pencil but nevertheless I still like it. I like this for days where I don't want to fill my eyebrows and I just want a little bit of colour and fullness and yeah I like this. The one thing I don't like about this is it's really crusty like my Australis brow gel is crusty like my clear one but um, it's not as crusty as this. Another eye product is the YSL Mascara Volume Effect Fox Seals Shocking. 
not quite sure what the actual name is this, but um, I'll leave it somewhere along here so that you know. But this was a sample from the goodie bag that I got at the Clay Morello event. And I really like this mascara. I'm wearing it today and it just gives such natural length and enough volume that you look like you're wearing natural false lashes, but it still looks like your lashes. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I really like it. The last thing I've been loving is my Makeup Geek shadows and these are just put in the Z palette that I ordered when I ordered my Makeup Geek shadows and I've got a MAC blush in here but let's just focus on these shadows here. These shadows are really pigmented, really creamy, buttery, oh, I just they're easy to blend, they're so good and they're like $6 or something like that. So the colours that I've really been liking are Peach Smoothie here and this one I think is Cocoa Bear. Yep, Cocoa Bear here. Been loving creme brulee and this one here, which I'm not sure the name, it's called Glamorous. I've really been loving these shades here. I'll do some swatches, but yeah, these shades, they're definitely worth the money. I would pay like $15 a shadow for these. So if they like doubled their price, which please don't, I hope they don't, don't double their price, <laughs> um, I would still pay the money for it. And the last things I've been loving are lip products. The first lip product I've been loving is the Maybelline New York I think this is called like a color elixir or a color balm or something, I'm not quite sure. I said in my last video, if it's up already or it's my next video, that I hate the writing on the bottom, like I can't read it at all because it's so little and it's the same color as the tube, so it's silly. But basically this is just a really pigmented balm, but it's glossy um, and it's so pigmented and so comfortable on the lips. There it is there. It's just... Ooh, Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to flip you off. Um, there it is there. It's just really pretty and pigmented and they last for a pretty good amount of time. The next product is the Chi Chi Stay On Lip Liner in the shade Totally Nude. They don't bleed and feather and they stay on really, really well. That's the colour there. So it is more of a brownie nude, but I like that. Um, yeah, it's really creamy, really pigmented, easy to apply. I like that it's retractable so you don't have to have a sharpener and yeah, just really good lip liners. Last two products for my September favourites are these lip glosses by Gerard Cosmetics and I know a lot of people rave about these but they're really, they're good. Go buy them. They're as good as people say they are. So the first one I've got to show you is Coral Craze and this is just a pretty pinky coral shade. Um, it looks like this. And it's just really, really pretty. And I like the packaging on these because they've got a light and a mirror, so it's really handy for like on the go. And they're just really good lip glosses. The next shade is Buttercream, and that is what that one looks like. And this has been my everyday colour for like the past week and a half, two weeks, I think. I did get these at the end of the month, but I thought I'd throw them in anyway just because I love them so much. And yeah, so I've been getting heaps of use out of these. So that's the end of my September favourites. Um, I'll leave links below to all my social media sites. I'll also leave links to where you can purchase everything. Um, if you can't purchase the sets and stuff like that that I showed you, I'll link the individual items down below as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!